So I just released another Redonis JS package called Drive. The main goal of Drive is to help you manage user uploaded files by storing them on a cloud storage service like Amazon S3 or Google Cloud Storage. Now, there are a couple of reasons for which you want to use Drive over directly using the SDK provided by these services. The first one is Drive offers a consistent API across all the service providers. So let's say if you're using S3 today and want to switch to Google Cloud tomorrow, you can do that by just switching the driver and you don't have to make any changes to your code. Now, the other one is even if you're not switching between these service providers, you may still want to use your local file system for storing the files in development and only use a cloud service when running your app in production. Let me show it to you with an example. So here I have this demo application in which a user can upload their profile picture by clicking this circular box. Now, before I upload any image, let me show you how Drive is configured to handle this file upload. Let's start with the config file. So it's stored inside this config directory and here is the config file. So here we basically have two main properties. Uh, the first one is desk which is the default disk that you want to use in order to upload files. And the other one is an object of available disks that you want to use in this application. So here is that disks object. I have two disks defined, the local and the S3 one. And the S3 one uses the S3 driver and the local one uses the local driver. So what I will do is, in development, I will use the local desk and in production, I will switch to the S3 desk. And I do that using this drive desk environment variable. So if I go to this .env file, out here, I have defined the drive desk as local. And once I will like deploy my application to production, there I will define this environment variable to S3. Now let's look at the actual code that is using Drive to handle the file upload. So if I go to my app directory inside my controllers, and here is the profile controller that is basically handling that uh, file upload. So here I'm just doing the regular request validation thing where I make sure that the user uploads a file, it has like certain extension and all that stuff using this uh, validator class. But the important thing is this move to disk method. So when you're using Drive, all the user uploaded file instances will have this method called move to disk. And this method basically takes the path to where you actually want to move that file. So here I'm saying like move it to the root of the disk. Here you can define additional options like the file name if you want, otherwise Drive will do it for you automatically. And finally, if you want, you can switch the disk. So you can say, okay, I wanna upload it to the local disk or I wanna upload it to S3. But in this case, I'm not defining a disk and I'm telling Drive to use the default disk, which is defined via the environment variable. So let's get rid of these two options. And uh, after that, I have like standard logic to update the avatar file name property on the user model and save it to the database. So let's see it in action. So here I click, I select the avatar and here it gets updated. We get a notification. If you go back to our source code, here we can see we have a temp directory. Inside it, we have an uploads directory and inside it, as the file that I just uploaded. And once you will be in production, all you really need to do is inside the environment variable, switch this to S3, and the file won't be saved on the local file system of your server. Instead, it will be written to an S3 bucket.